Look at this. The well, thing I love most about the Super Bowl is the traditional pre-game breakfast at the International House of Pancakes. You are absolutely right, Sean. There is nothing better than a bit of rooty tooty, fresh and fruity, and off to sea, a bit of fruity. Are you uh, enjoying your snack of pancakes now, Roy? <laughs> I'm a little concerned that my muffin may in fact not be English. I think it's an American muffin pretending to be English, like Madonna. What are you talking about, you ignoramus? There isn't a more international breakfast in the world. You've got your Belgian waffles, your Canadian bacon, your French fries, and of course, huevos rancheros, which are from uh, Norway. <laughs> I'd like to be the king of I hope. You are not king of anything. We'll be one day. No. 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 Excuse me. Do any of you fine gentlemen like some more coffee? Maybe something hot? No, thank you. <laughs> Tell you what, I'd like to shag that waitress. I don't wish to alarm you, but the waitress may be a man. Oh, yeah? Well, your type then. Eh? <laughs> And now, Sean Connery's This Day in History. On this day in 1973, I was climbing Mount Fuji and got my right arm stuck in a crevasse. There was only one way to free myself. I got out my pen knife and I sawed the damn thing off. That's right, I cut off my own arm. I grew back. I celebrated my 16th wedding anniversary with a marathon lovemaking session. When it was over, I went home and had dinner with the wife. <laughs> On this day in 1974, I was kicked out of the Beverly Hills Hotel for drunkenness. <laughs> I said, do you know who I am? And the bartender said, Sean Connery. Which was good because I'd completely <laughs> forgotten who I am. And he goes, thanks for uh, coming, Aisha. I'm Sean Connery, the only uh, 007. <laughs> I, I know who you are, Mr. Connery. Um, but yeah, I thought we were going to do this in a, in a studio. Oh, and we are doing this in a studio. This is a studio apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Pistol. All right. Uh, so why don't we discuss the character? No, 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 that? no. Forget that. I want to learn more about you as a person. Okay. Uh, all right. I graduated from Dartmouth College, okay, that's and enough. then no. Nah. Put this on. You know, I, I don't. I don't really think I, I need that right now. No, but I do. It was. Uh, it was worn by Pussy Galore, and it helps. Uh, that was my little spy coming from the cold. I think you know what I'm saying there. Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay, good. Uh, you know, though, I'm feeling pretty uncomfortable right now. Oh, don't Connery, worry about but, that. Uh, That's what this is for. Go on. <laughs> Help yourself. Oh, you'll want a glass, of course. Yes, you're a lady. I'll pour you a small one. Uh, there you are. Oh, I'll take a wee sip myself. <laughs> It, well, now this is the good stuff. You know, it's, it's, it's fine. I, I'm really, I want to keep things professional right oh, now. Oh, so. oh, I like to keep things professional, too. <laughs> Hang on a second. Hang on. I'll just fix it. Sometimes, sometimes the automatic pillows get stuck in the genuine books. <laughs> You're fired! Uh. <laughs> Look, um... <laughs> Sorry about that. Are you sure you want to have some of this? That's, I, I may, actually. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, why don't you go first? <sighs> you know, I, uh, I know you're a little older, Mr. Connery, but don't you think it's a little old, a little early in the day for a nap? No? Well, look, I'm no spring chicken. And, uh, if we're going to make the beast with no backs, I want, uh, padding to make sure none of the, the horns break <laughs> off. Do you know what I'm saying? Come on. Ah! Oh! 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 Okay! I, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Okay. Uh, but there's no movie, is there, Mr. Connery? Not for you, Titch. No. 
but I'm getting all of this on tape, so do the other one and slap my face. So that's what you're into, huh, Grampy? Yes. Being humiliated? Absolutely, that's right. Once the swelling goes down, it's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah? Oh! Well, you know what turns me on? Oh, what mommy? I really love Daniel Craig. Oh, knock it off. Come on. He's the best Bond ever. Sweet, no. juicy, no. blonde. Uh. He's even better than Pierce Brosnan. Oh, stop it, you delicious bitch. Uh. Wow. Okay, you're enjoying this way too much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off. All right, see you later, double O baldy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, that's, uh, well, you get it where you can, basically, I suppose. And now, a Sean Connery holiday memory. December 21st, 1981. I was the Grand Marshal of the Hollywood Christmas Parade. I got so drunk, I fell off a horse. I was so embarrassed, I quit shagging horses entirely. Well, tell Spielberg he can kiss my ass. It was Christmas 1998. I had the tallest Christmas tree of anyone in the United States. It was the tree in the New York's Rockefeller Center. I was living under it at the time. They booted me out, but I left a couple of presents under the tree for the Department of Sanitation. <laughs> That's right, I crapped there. It was Christmas 1976. I was drinking eggnog through a giant funnel. I must have had too much, because when I woke up, it was January the 6th, 1992. Sean Connery, welcome to Countdown with Keith Oberman. Keith could not be here tonight. He pulled a groin muscle. <laughs> and it wasn't his own. <laughs> so, so this is a perfect time for my special comment. Now, as you know, the Academy Awards are on Sunday and I am not nominated for squat. <laughs> Nothing. I got one lousy Academy Award for the Untouchables, and I should have got one for Medicine Man, because that was a great acting job. I was acting all the way through the movie like it wasn't a pile of crap. Do you know who deserves an Oscar this year? Christian Bell. That was a first-class performance by Christian. I like a guy who can be a superhero on the screen and a super in real life. <laughs> And you know what else I like about Bale? He's not some Nancy boy who's prettier than his leading lady. These guys confuse me. <laughs> I mean, come on. Do I punch them in their big pouty lips? Or do I give them a big sloppy kiss? <laughs> well, I'm a movie star. I can do both. <laughs> so, what's nominated for Best Picture? Well, who cares? Oh, come on, this year's movies are crap. Except for uh, this lesbian porn. <laughs> <laughs> I like the lesbian porn. The weirder, the better. Latex, spanking. <laughs> you know what the Academy's problem is? They nominate movies that no one has ever seen. Slumdog Millionaire, that's not a movie. It's the name of a techno band, and I hate techno. <laughs> In conclusion... <laughs> Stay still, you bastard, so I can talk to you. In conclu hey, here, I'll tell you what. Here's my Oscar. Here's my Oscar. You know what the Oscars can do? You know what the Oscars can do? This is what they can do on Sunday night. Go f*** yourself, <laughs> Ah, right, this Sunday night, I'm going to do what I enjoy doing best of all. I will be drinking scotch and being bitter. <laughs> and then I'll shag a waitress. 
Connery out. Sean Connery's Focus on Finance. For peace of mind, I recommend you put 10% of your paycheck into shavings, 5% in a retirement account, and 85% into Brazilian hookers. <laughs> Hello, I'm Donald Trump. <laughs> Welcome back to Celebrity Apprentice. So we're down to firing one of you two. Sean Connery. <laughs> or Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, okay, you bozos, tell me what your charities are. <clears throat> well, my charity finds housing for wayward prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and all the proceeds go to building an extension in my bedroom. See, right there, you know, I told you what my charity was and gave you a wee bit of comedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you, muscles? Yeah, for, for the money that I will raise goes to one of the most poorest, desperate, and neediest places in the earth, California. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's great. Yeah. All right. Yeah, laugh it up, laugh it up. Listen. All right, all right. You listen, you two humps are in here because you're the worst on your teams. I gave you a task and you failed miserably. Well, listen, it's not my fault, you know, it's the other celebrities on the team. I mean, I kept tripping over that stupid Tom Cruise, right? <laughs> I could not see him, he's so tiny. Yes, he's very small. He's very tiny. He's very tiny. He's right there. He's like, oh, there he goes. Right. Yeah. I get, I get, yeah. I get, yeah. like I get, I get, I get what tiny is. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. And, then, and you know, I, I'm not the worst on my team. Those three ladies on my team were impossible. Just impossible to work with. What? Your team didn't have any ladies. <laughs> wait, wait, those were the Jonas Brothers. Oh, oh my God. I think I may have committed a felony. <laughs> all right, all right, enough, you boobs. Now listen, you were supposed to make money running a lemonade stand. Uh -huh. Sean, this is your lemonade, but you didn't sell any. Well, what I, happened? I, I, you know, I was going fine, but I ran out of lemons. You know, so I improvised. It tastes great. It's oh. actually very nice. <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is good. What did you use? I used my pee-pee. It burns. It burns. Oh, wait, wait. <coughs> you know, it's not that bad. All right. It's really Easy. good. Uh, it's I not bad. I'll look after myself. You yeah. know, All right, Kudos. hold on. Focus up, you <laughs> bozos. Okay, right. yeah. Now, Arnold, your lemonade was amazing, but you only made one glass. Yeah. What happened? Well, let me tell you, I started to squeeze the lemons, mm -hmm. and then I totally got the urge to squeeze the boobies, oh, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then to squeeze the buttocks and more of the boobies and the buttocks. Let me tell you, it was the best day of my life. Well, there you, <laughs> are. you know, I got to be honest, I, I don't know who to fire here. At least I don't have a stupid accent that no one can understand. What? <laughs> what? All right, all right, stop what? it, stop what? it. What? You're both being ridiculous. Yeah, and you are totally ridiculous with that stupid animal on your head. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey, 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 hold on. Hey, 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 come on now. What are you, what are you riding the bike yeah, to come down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, hold on. I'll have you humps know that this is my real hair. Yeah, it's not your real hair. It looks like a muskrat. Come what? on, here, muskrat. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You know what? Uh, you know what? Look at you, you should talk. Uh, I'll get you for that. Oh my god. Yeah. You guys think you're so funny? You think you're funny? Well, I'll have you hops know that my hair has got a lot of friends. Oh yeah. Yeah. And they're hungry too. Go get them, boys! <laughs> Thank you.
Sean Connery is a guest on Sesame Street. <laughs> Hi, Gudge. What did I do with my friend Big Bird? Oh, yes, there he is. <laughs> Delicious. As a detective on CSI. Well, let's see. There's uh, stains all over the walls, handcuffs on the radiator, and a dead hooker on the floor. <laughs> now let's get the hell out of my bedroom and go to the crime scene. Hosting the Rachel Ray Show. The recipe for chicken and white wine sauce is very easy. First, you take a generous amount of white wine. <laughs> then you toss a Ooh -la -la. chicken. Ooh -la -la. <sighs> it's easy. Sean Connery is a contestant on Wipeout. Oh, oh, look at that, eh? The last time I saw two balls that big, I... <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> the last time I saw two balls that big, I... And red. I had to get a shot of penicillin. <laughs> Selling the ShamWow. <laughs> this thing is great. <laughs> when I spill my whiskey, it shocks up every drop. <laughs> oh, yes. Wait. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. As a contestant on Survivor. Stush me, Eddie. Ooh la la. Chance. <laughs> I... <laughs> My stupid thing we've ever done in this lame ass show. <laughs> My favorite person on Survivor is Jeff Probst. He's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Do you hear drums? <laughs> I thought I was the only one in the beach. That's why I killed Jeff Probst. <laughs> now I find out there's drummers. Actually, don't worry, I didn't just kill Jeff Probst. I just took his leg off. He's fine. He's, you know, he's got a bit of a limp. I'll be honest. <laughs> Just a touch. It might slow him down a bit, but he's, uh, he'll, he'll be fine. <laughs> On the horse racing channel. <laughs> Something's wrong here. Oh, I know. What happened to the little man that was riding me? <laughs> Call me, Ryan. She crashed. On Discovery Channel's Deadliest Catch. This doesn't make any sense. I'm standing on water, and I've got a hat on top of my hat. But not to worry, because tonight is my lucky night. I just caught a blowfish. And now, a Sean Connery holiday memory. It was New Year's Eve, 1975. I was, I was in the middle of filming The Man Who Would Be King with Michael Caine. 
We had a bit too much champagne, and we thought it would be funny if we stole one of the cameras. <laughs> I won't say exactly what happened, but that night we filmed the movie The Man Who Would Be Having Sex With Another Man. <laughs> Ah, there you are. <laughs> it was Christmas 2008. I was drinking on my roof when Santa landed with a sleigh. I was drunk and confused, and I'm ashamed of what I did next. But I did discover that I love reindeer jerky. It was Christmas 19... <laughs> Christmas 1999. My... My greatest Christmas ever. It probably had something to do with my new invention. The mistletoe belt buckle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! It was Christmas 2004. <laughs> I spent the entire day at home surrounded by my family. I remember it because I made damn sure it was the last Christmas I got stuck home without a movie to escape to. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's not a memory, that's just <laughs> depression. <laughs> it was Christmas, 1962. <laughs> it was cold and bitter and overcast, and that was inside my house. <laughs> My wife was angry because I slept with a department store Santa. <laughs> what can I say? There's just something about a fat guy with a giant bag. <laughs> now, people often say to me, Sean, they say, Sean, what's your greatest Christmas memory? And I think, well, uh -uh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. Daddy likes that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh. That's usually why I say. Summer Living with Sean Connery. It's amazing! to think that waves traveled thousands and thousands of miles through the ocean just to crash at my feet. <laughs> you know what's also amazing to think about? Asian hookers. <laughs> I'd eat this, but it looks too much like a penis. <laughs> a small penis. <laughs> Not that I've ever seen a small penis. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? Because the only penis I've ever seen is my own. Except in the 1970s. <laughs> then, for one glorious night, Roger Moore and I... <laughs> I've shed too much. My favourite summer activities are barbecuing and shagging. I found that if you do them at the same time, though, you can get grill marks on your arse. <laughs> Once, when I was body surfing in Australia, I got into a wrestling match with a deadly poisonous sea snake. <laughs> it was only after I had killed the beast that I realised I had simply lost my swimming trunks. <laughs> if you want to make love to a woman, you take her to the beach at sunset. <laughs> Bring some wine and some cheese. And if that doesn't work, tell her you're Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me every time. Of course, I am <laughs> Sean Connery. <laughs> I'm an avid fisherman. There's nothing I like more than going to the beach, opening a beer and sticking my pole in the shan. <laughs> and then when I'm done with that, I go fishing. <laughs> One summer day, I woke up to find someone in bed with me. Someone not of the gender to which I am generally predisposed. I was very firm with him. I told him, you have exactly three weeks to get out of here. <laughs> Call 
Only Fabio. <laughs> I'd like now to show you the proper way to apply shuntan lotion. I like to, but I replaced the shuntan lotion in this bottle with vodka. <laughs> I think. No, I think it's pee, pee from the props department. I think what happened is that Joe, the props guy, thought this was his big chance to get me to drink his pee, -pee. <laughs> Thereby winning the bet he thinks I don't know about. <laughs> but I do. Sure. With that in mind, and knowing that it's Joe's job, to clean up this after we're done. Ah. Ah. Oh, a bit got on me, though. A bit got on me. Going to the beach is my favorite part of summer. Unless it's Donna summer, then it's going to the vagina. <laughs> that was a little too on the nose, perhaps, wasn't it? the beach, I don't believe in manscaping. I like to show all the hairy goodness God gave me. It works. <laughs> Except for that time a she-gull nished it in my back hair. <laughs> terrible. A bird made a terrible, awful racket. The eggs were delicious. Though. Some people say that when you're on the beach, it's more comfortable to shave off your beard. Never. Without this beard, people think I'm Susan Boyle. <laughs> Sometimes, even with the beard. <laughs> I am Susan Boyle. And now, a Sean Connery holiday memory. It was New Year's Eve, 1975. I was... <laughs> I was in the middle of filming The Man Who Would Be King with Michael Caine. We had a bit too much champagne and we thought it would be funny if we stole one of the cameras. <laughs> I won't say exactly what happened, but that night we filmed the movie The Man Who Would Be Having Sex with Another Man. And now it's time for Sean Connery's Parisian Memories. <laughs> I love cheese. I love smelling it, I love serving it and eating it, but most of all, I love cutting it. <laughs> That's the good stuff. There's something very romantic about a drive through the French countryside. <laughs> then again, any drive is romantic when you have a trunk full of hookers. <laughs> People say there's nothing more romantic than the sound of the French language. I think nothing is more romantic than the sound of catch mating. <laughs> See that, that? That's one of those new ones. It doesn't even have to go round. It just works. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah. And now, a Sean Connery holiday memory. <sighs> Christmas Eve, 1981. I spent the day volunteering at a soup kitchen. I did it because I like to help the less fortunate and also because a judge told me I had to. <laughs> Apparently it's a crime to headbutt a milkman. <laughs> a, a mailman. A milkman. Or... Ooh, la, la. He had it coming, whoever he was. <laughs> Here's my favourite excerpt from The Night Before Christmas. Away through the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutter and smoked me some ash. <laughs> the year was 1972. I decided to make my way to the North Pole to finally meet Santa Claus so I could punch him in the nuts for all the crap he gave me in 1971. <laughs> 
It's time for Sean Connery and Larry King's Shark Encounters. Thrilling. Exciting. Totes cray cray. Which is my camera? They're both that camera. We both look there. What do you think you are? <laughs> CNN. <laughs> I'll never forget the day Larry and I came fish to fish with a great white shark. It's cold, dead eyes, saw straight into my soul. Before it could attack, I punched its nose. And then I kicked its eye. Ash, and we learned a valuable lesson that night. Yeah, never watch Jaws on acid. <laughs> It's like Jay Leno as a fly. <laughs> I'll be back in uh, eight months. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Can never get rid of him, can you? <laughs>